Hi guys, Mr. Space reporting for duty. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. I have to film this before work. I have less than half an hour to record. So hopefully this video will not be the biggest I've ever done because it is very possible it is. I like to talk and apparently you guys like to hear me talk. So, but anyways, this is season five. We're in season five guys. And the first game will of course have to be the game against Red Star. Look at this. We're both seventh and fourth. What? No, but this is because we only played one game each which makes sense. I think Spartak Maros and Magma played two games. So that's how we are somehow in fourth. Don't worry about it. Hopefully we're going to be in this position soon. But what you can see here, first of all, is that Vlahovic is our top scorer after one game with two goals. And the first game was the game against Naperdak. Beautiful, beautiful win. 4-1. Look at that complete utter domination. But one shot, one goal. Typical, 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 typical. So what does this mean for us? Well, obviously we're going to be taking on uh, Red Star today. But first... You may notice some notable criticism, and uh, the board is not happy that we signed Jürgen Janssen for the amount of money that we signed him, and last episode I showed you why that is, because we have signed him for this much money. That is a lot of money, ladies and gentlemen, that is a lot, a lot of money, 19.25 and 25 million in clauses for this kid, who is, I think, amazing. He started at Brighton. I think he's very good. Look at his pace is good, his heading, marking, tackling. He's already a very good center back at the age of 18. Don't look at this. He's going to be a first team player. But I think once he gets to improve his passing, his vision, and um, what's the other one? And I guess some of his first touch, this guy will definitely be our ball playing defender, which is something we really, really need. Also, we have signed some people. We have signed this guy who is very, very important. Sverazar Markovic. I like him. But also, we signed another center back. We signed Bozo Saporic. Uh, this is just me basically trying to donate money to a bunch of Serbian clubs so they improve. Because we have a lot of money and we can't sign anyone over the age of 21. So, yeah. So, you know, if you are new, by the way, thank you for joining in. But you're joining in episode 46, which is interesting. But this is the rule. We can't sign over 21-year-olds unless they've played for our club before. So, yeah, decent little backup. He's going to do well. And uh, this is mainly because we're also going to be selling uh, one of our center backs. And uh, you could probably guess. Uh, put a guess in the comments if you are listening to who it is. But it's kind of obvious. So, in terms of out, we have sold Uros Cellar. Actually, he was a pretty decent player. Remember, all the way back in the first few uh, episodes, we have found him. He was a decent striker, but we changed him to a Secundo Volante. Played a long game for us, actually. Played under 50 games for us, which is really, really cool for a kid that's young. But we sold him to Vivodnam. I hope he develops there. To Etienne, he, we signed him for 420k, and then we sold him. He didn't really do much. And apart from that, we're just clearing out the Deadwood, loaning out some of our very good players. So we have a small squad. Now... I have a new tactic for this season, which I want to try, and it's going to be part of a tactics video I do later. It's uh, part of the series I'm developing where I'm trying to take Euro 2020 teams and take their tactics. Yes, it's taken a while, but, uh, you know, this is how I roll. By the way, next Tuesday, new tactics coming out. Check it out, please. I hope I'm not late. But anyways, let me show you this one. So look at this monstrosity. This is the tactic we're going for. It is a little bit on the crazy side, but here we are. We have Paspalj playing the sweeper keeper. Markovic is a ball playing defender. Stepanovic is going to be the libero. Crazy stuff. What am I doing? Janssen is a center defensive, well, center defender, really. Yurostic will be the complete wing back. I know he's not the best, but Plika is still learning to play in that position. So once he gets to it, we will be using him there. Perfect for that role. Stupar is going to be the um, Regista. Topic is the box to box. Kuchin is an inverted wing back. Pavlovich is the center, well, the shadow striker. I can't, I can't pronounce. There's too many things there. Stevanovic is this, another one on the right. So he has left foot he can cut in. And up front, we're going to have Stanich. This is going to be an interesting tactic. This will potentially improve our, I guess, performance against big teams. I'm really curious. And I mean, obviously, if it's the teams are really, really strong, we may change this guy to a deep line defender, deep line playmaker. I can't speak. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. But anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it's not the craziest one. And I hope this guy doesn't want to leave us. And apparently he does because uh, one of the teams came and they're like, yes, we'll spend three million on him. And I'm like, are you stupid? I spent more. And uh, now he's pissed at me. So he's sitting on the bench now. Hopefully he learns his lesson. I'll see you guys when the game starts. Idemo. Just a quick look at Red Star's transfers, actually, because I'm curious to see if they've improved. And they have. So they've completed the signing of Killing Godin. I think last time he was on loan for them. And also they signed Ilya Kutyapov from CSK. I don't understand. From CSK. What is going on? Anyways, this guy is going to be there. I wonder if he's going to be playing today. Uh, in terms of outs, nothing really. Oh, they sold this guy. I want to steal him. I want to steal him so bad. I could have signed him, but... Uh, 
Torino came in and stole him. He's a very good and a very good defender, and hopefully I can get to him before next year. I really hope I can. Anyways, let's get into the game. So there we go. They have Red Star, and no, he isn't here. Kutyapov is not going to be starting today, but good it is, and uh, that is good enough. <laughs> I have to stop with the puns, it's stupid. Look at this weird formation. Red Star is completely lost. They're like, what is going on? So yeah, this is something we were practicing during um, some of our friendly tournaments, which is important. This is when you try, uh, try this tactics. So hopefully it works out well. This is going to be the first real test we have on it. And uh, at the end of the day, if we lose the game against Red Star, I am going to be very pissed. But at the same time, it's not going to be a big difference because we're going to win the league anyways. Jurosovic is going to have a first throw in. Beautiful. Third Pavlovic. Jurosovic. Is he going to put a good cross in? Pavlovic. Yes. Crossing the ball. Kuchin. Luka Kuchin has an inverted wing back. And damn, that almost went in. Not bad. I don't see him get to the, to the, I guess, the that position ever. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you go inverted. <laughs> no. No, you don't believe this. We have had absolutely no highlights. You know, this is not the kind of game where, you know, a highlight happens and I deem it to be not interesting. No, no, no. This is the kind of game where... Nothing happens. Absolutely nothing. Look at this. We're having way less shots. We're having even more pos less possession than we normally do. Red Star doesn't know what to do about that because normally they're playing us on the counter, and now they can't do that because we're doing a we're doing a different one, and absolutely no one expected it. But the team is doing okay. Hopefully, we can kick on a little bit better. Let's give a cheeky demand more. I do want to win. I didn't come here to park the bus. That's not the most important thing. If it gets to like seventy minutes, I will have to go attacking. Maybe we do need a more attacking wing back. Maybe we do need a. Plika on, which we could probably bring him on. Stevanovic dribbling with his um, preferred left foot, even though he's bringing it all the way to the flank, plays it out, and that's a destruction. And the ref is not calling anything. Interesting, Jurosovic is back, weirdly enough. You put him further up, he comes back more. I don't understand it. Stanic, uh, he's too far out. He's drawn out a little bit. Kuchin, pass it to Stupar. Stupar's having a good game. Does a little dink to Jurosovic. Can he bring it in? Jurosovic, yes. Jurosovic, Pavlovic, Pavlovic, let's go, Lazar. Beautiful man, man. Of course, it has to be Lazar Pavlovic. It's either Stanic or Lazar Pavlovic. Let's go. And I just realized I forgot to play Vlahovic. That's what's happening. That's why it's a little bit weird. But this is good. This is very, very good. We're doing a great job here. Uh, we're going to put Vlahovic on, actually, now that we say this. And um, Plika instead of Jurosovic. I think that's good. Uh, Stepanovic is completely confused. He's never played Libera before. He has absolutely no idea what to do. Look at that horrible rating. Maybe we just stick to a cheeky ball-playing defender. I Maybe we'll leave the Libero stuff for... Um, let's go uh, cover. Yeah, let, let's leave all that crazy stuff for for better teams or when he gets better because he's like, I have no idea what libero is. I don't know what libero means. Pavlovich, the hero, he's going to have to come off instead of um, Stoicevalic, which is good. Uh, but China is going to have a free kick. Is it going to go in? Lekovic. There's a foul there? Are we back to the same parts of Football Manager where Red Star could not beat me because they had to use penalties? No, we can beat Red Star because Red Star had to use penalties. Unbelievable. No, this can't be the way it goes. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Is this going to be the way it goes? Don't give a penalty in the 82nd minute. Penalty awarded. Right. That is a tactical restructure. We have done all three subs. Let's try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But um, I think it may. I think it may. It will require some rejigging, I think. Um, Plika is going to have to play a wing back, most likely. Um, let's see. Um, who can play left back? From our team. Luka Kuchin. There we go. Stepanovic going to go on the right. This is going to be the tactical rejig. Let's going to have Stanic here. Vlahovic uh, is going to play winger. Plika has both feet, so he can play there. But uh, there we go. That was a tactical rejig. Sure. Matej Stepanovic had a crap game and uh, he got a penalty as well. So, truth is, don't play the barrel. As Katai steps up, Paspalch, Paspalch, let's go, Paspalch. You finally have done a save. You finally did something good. Let's go. That's a praise. That's an absolute praise. Ay, you beautiful, beautiful boy. Is this going to be the season when Paspal becomes the hero he always was? As we play at the back, Jansen, maybe I should go back to my own formation. But first test run of this tactic was decent. Uh, Red Star was limited to absolutely no counterattacks. Stoicevalic, can he create something? That's a tackle from behind. Ref doesn't care. Stanic is literally not going to get there. He's way too slow. What's going to happen? Petrovic hits the ball forward as far as he can. We don't win that header. I mean, we do, but we don't win that ball. Katai. He's going to blow past everyone. Bachanin. Ah, ball through Babic. Paspalj. And there we go. Unbelievable. It doesn't matter. We lose anyways. I mean, we draw anyways. 
I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should have played the more attacking formation, but I do want to try new things. I do want to try this tactic. I mean, in the end, not the end of the world, I do want to win Red Star. Literally every time I want to be, be going to seasons where Red Star is completely and utterly decimated, but that's okay. Is this going to be the end of the game? I think it is. Unfortunately, this game was not a success. Not the trial success we're going for. The team played okay. Stepanovic had an awful, awful, awful game. But he played in two positions he never was meant to be playing. So I guess it's more on me than on him. But uh, <laughs> why did I do that? Anyways, this is why I don't do team talks while I talk. Because I can't imagine. I mean, Paspal had a man of the match performance with 7.3. He saved the penalty. I mean, that's completely, completely fair enough. Damn it. Absolutely damn it. I, I, it could have been a good game, but uh, we played away. I will take that. I will take that. But where does this leave us? Well, obviously, this leaves us at some point in the Champions League. We're going to have to play in the playoffs still, which is fascinating. I maybe won't do that. Maybe the next game will be against Vojvodne. I think that's a good time. I feel like I'm going to be slowly making them into my rivals because, first of all, they stole a trophy from us, but also they have money to spend now, which is absolutely amazing. They don't really need to send anyone. And um, I'm trying to steal one of their strikers. Is Remember? Remember him? Should I go for him? Should I go? I think I'm actually bidding for him. Should I go for him? Tell me in the comments, what do you think? Marko Lazetic, should I buy him and make sure he remembers scoring against us? Let's go, tell me in the comments. Anyways, I will see you back for the Vojvodna game or if there's a more interesting Champions League game there. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm gonna have to rush to work now. So I hope you do appreciate it. Smash the cheeky like button. You know, it's down there, it's free. And subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at 500. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna be taking on Vojvodna or a Champions League team. Bye guys.